Hey guys, I know I, I can't remember the last time I posted two videos on the same day, but you know, this morning's challenge from uh, Ethan Stitch Gardner got me to thinking that a lot of you may not be aware of what the 22 challenge is all about, and it's not a fitness challenge. Most often, you see the challenge being for someone to compete or complete 22 push-ups a day for 22 days. But what the challenge is actually about is raising awareness of veteran suicide, or really military member suicide. Statistically, every single day, 22 U.S. service members and veterans take their own life. And to me, that's preposterous. I'm sitting out here. It's a beautiful day. Life is good. And I just, I could not imagine a situation that would cause me to want to end my own life. However, I haven't had to face some of the demons and, and carry some of the burden that these soldiers are having to carry. So I wanted to take a moment and step back because one, Almost every soldier I know cares about taking care of other soldiers, but not every soldier I know is still physically able to do push-ups. For instance, many of us uh, get out, we've got shoulder injuries, neck injuries, uh, upper back injuries, and a push-up is just out of the question. So if I were to challenge a friend that uh, maybe has something going on that I'm not aware of, it might make them feel a little, you know, less than whole not being able to complete this challenge. So I wanted to take a moment and step back and say, this is not a fitness challenge and it's not a push-up challenge. It's a 22 a day veteran suicide awareness. So here's what I want to do to all of my friends out there that are, that are doing these challenges, that are posting these and sharing them with their friends. Let's stop making it about push-ups. I'm going to do the 22 push-ups a day because that's what I started doing. And push-ups are not that. Okay. <laughs> Y'all saw my video earlier, you know, uh, yeah, I was struggling there at the end, but one of my strongest, uh, events was always the sit-up and two days ago I tore a hip flexor and if today's challenge had been to me to do 22 sit-ups I would have felt miserably and I would have felt awful for it because I would have felt like I was letting down my fellow soldiers so here's what I'm going to say if over the next 22 days I challenge you to the 22 a day challenge it doesn't have to be push-ups if you can do sit-ups do 22 sit-ups if it's squats side straddle hops uh, a 22 minute bicycle ride now don't bore us all with 22 minutes of you riding a stationary bike but you know uh, you can probably fast forward do some some editing magic there there are different ways that each of us can express our concern for our brothers and sisters that have worn this uniform. And that's kind of another thing. It doesn't have to be just about, all right, 22 a day is all about the military. I'm not going to make that about anything else. But suicide awareness in a, its own right is something that's important that all of us need to be thinking about. So if you see this video and it raises awareness to you, you may know someone that has been distant, they've been disconnected, especially right now when we're having to self-isolate. A lot of us have depended upon group, uh, the ability to get together and talk with people going through the same things that we are about what's bothering us. And that's been taken away from a lot of people right now. So just as, as you watch these if if you're one of the one or two people that actually watch my videos on YouTube just keep in mind over the next several uh, weeks that I'm doing this challenge that every single push-up that I do it didn't look like a whole lot of push-ups and you're thinking Don 22 push-ups that's nothing brother but when you think each one of those push-ups represented a soldier that is not alive today that was alive yesterday 22 push-ups is too damn many uh, I wish I didn't have to do any I, I really wish that uh, we could come to a, a point in time when suicide was was a thing of the past and no longer something that people contemplated 
But until that happens, uh, you're going to see veterans that care about other veterans and care about soldiers continue to raise awareness in the best way that we know how. And really, that's physical challenges. Uh, so any of you guys out there watching this, you're, you're my, my military family, my military friends. You know who you are. Uh, one, most of the time you see these challenges, for some reason the women get left out. Some of the strongest soldiers and Marines I have known my entire life life have been female so ladies watch out you're going to be challenged and guys if even if I know that you have uh, you know been jumping out of airplanes your whole life and you've got back and neck problems that you can't do a push-up well you can do a squat you can do 22 squats or you know what if you are so broke that you can't do anything reach out to 22 veterans every single day and say I love you brother I'm thinking about you and my world would not be as good without you in it